Anthony Madison with the Pittsburgh Steelers, and we have here today. Uh, my name is Mike Barber. Mike Barber, nice to meet you, Mike. Thank you, sir. So, uh, what brings you here to uh, to Dallas, other well, than the Super Bowl? I was I was going for the Olympics in water polo, but um, which was my childhood dream, but they told me that I was really out of shape, really ugly. <laughs> and could, and when I couldn't swim, I figured that was kind of a big deal. But, but so I figured I'd just come out here and hang out with you guys who are real athletes. Okay, okay. Well, that's not bad. Yeah. That's not bad, I guess. But uh, how about this? Uh, what, uh, what else? What else are you planning to get out of this whole experience other than uh, just kind of hanging out with the players? And, and well, I hear the thing to get is from a Hawaiian buddy that brings out the chocolates. And I, I hear they're, they're pretty amazing, slap your mama good. I, I'm not sure about that, but that's what I've been told. Okay. You know? Well, hey, I'm ready to try this thing, man. Like I said, he's been running around here, yeah. giving them everybody, and um, I think I'm gonna give this thing a shot and see what he's talking about. Yeah, that sounds good, man. Yeah, I think it's a good deal. That sounds good. Well, um, appreciate you taking the time out. Yeah, and, um, I appreciate you. Hey, all right, hey, now let me get you, bro. Let me okay. get you, Okay. just real quick. Getting here to the biggest game, man, uh, how does it feel to you? Um, it's, it's the fact that it's the second time in the last three years literally just kind of blows me away. But um, this team, like we, every year, we, our, our goal is to make it to the Super Bowl. You know, some teams, their goal is to, you know, get eight, nine wins, ten wins, maybe make the playoffs. But in Pittsburgh, the standard is, is measured by Lombardi's. And um, when I first came here, you know, I, I understood that to a certain degree. But now being in my fifth year, it's, it is what it is. Right. What do you think was that key game or moment for you guys, your team, where y'all just said, all right, we can do this? Um, actually, the first four games of the season, we didn't have our starting quarterback. And, um, you know, we had Dennis Dixon step in, and then he gets hurt. And we have Byron Leftwich, and he gets hurt. And then Charlie Batt steps in, and he, he plays phenomenal. And then we finally get our, um, our, our, our team leader, uh, Ben, back, and uh, we, we didn't miss a beat. So to have to be down to your fourth quarterback and to still win games and uh, and to start out 4-0 and, and and to do what we've done this year, I mean, it's it speaks volumes. But I'll never discredit what we've done this year because if, if something happens and we don't win this game, but the goal is to come here, take home the Lombardi, and be world champions. What defines you besides the game of football? Well, my faith, my faith plays a huge part in my life. Um, like I said, I mean, I have countless stories I can tell you where um, if it wasn't for the grace of God, like I wouldn't be where I am today. And that's the truth. Um, I've been released over four times in five years. Um, you know, I've, I've dealt with some tragedy in my family. I lost my dad uh, a year ago. Um, I've lost three siblings, two, one to cancer, uh, a brother had a heart attack, and uh, I had another sister that was actually dropped by the doctor, and she died, literally. Um, so I've, I've had, I've, I've experienced a lot of tragedy in my life, and, you know, but the one thing I've learned as I've, I've gotten older is that this life is short, and that, as Rick Warren says in his book, Purpose Your Life, we're just, we're literally passing through. This is our dress rehearsal. And I think that when, until you get to a point in life where you understand that um, it's more, life is more than just fame and money and, and chasing women and things like that, uh, you begin to have some freedom in your life. Because when you start chasing those things and you get it, then you want more of it. You want more of it, you're never satisfied. So I just got to the realization that you know, the one thing I knew that was constant and that was always there regardless was my faith. When you went through those hard times and through those trials and you were just really struggling, you mentioned already, uh, what are some things that you did to help you just keep fighting? Well, prayer. Um, there was times where I did feel like praying. There was times I didn't want to read the Bible. Uh, I was upset at God. Um, I, I felt like, you know, the things that happened to me wasn't fair. And, um, and then I realized, you know what? Life is not about fairness because if we if we got what was fair, then I think we all be screwed up. Um, you know, God doesn't always give us what He thinks is fair. Like He 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 
he does the things that, that is that is right in his eyes. You know, if we look at fairness in, the, in our own eyes, then it's no telling what we think. But, you know, my, my, the, the, the verse that I, I use and I've had for a long time is Hebrew, Hebrews 11.1, 1, and it says, Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. And there was a time where I didn't see... I didn't see myself playing in the NFL. That was time where I didn't I didn't see myself graduate from college. But my faith is what kept me going, and um, and that's the singular most important thing in my life. And I tell you what, without it, I don't know where I'd be. Last question to you: Those out there, kind of straddle on the fence through the cameras, through the airways. You got a platform to let them know why should I accept this man named Jesus? Well, the, it's plain and simple. Um, his word says it. He's the same every day, all day. This life is so ever-changing, like fashion, I mean, um, cars, whatever. Like, there's always some new fad or something going on. Why not hold on to someone or something that's, 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 that never changes, that's, that's never wavering? And, and that in itself says a lot about just the Christian faith and just who Christ is. Oh, by the way, who are you rooting for? Who am I rooting for? Uh, yeah. The team with the yellow. Oh! <laughs> Uh, I like it. I Steelers, like it. Baby, oh, Steelers, I like know. good stuff, man. You yeah. good? Man. You all right by me? Right. It's Anthony Madison, and um, thank you guys for tuning in, watching us, and we'll be getting back to you very soon. Thank I'll you. Follow. What?